All right, this is our last method for routing the control lines when you are slider down or slider up. I've seen some people do this slider up, which I think is incredibly foolish. Uh, in fact, honestly, I don't think there's any excuse for this method. Here's what we have here. Lines are outside the keeper rings, but still inside the slider grommets. Have that on both sides, outside the ring, inside the grommet. When you're slider down, there's really no reason to do this. Uh, it makes it just as difficult to clear a line over as if you were inside the rings. And if you drop the toggle, it's potentially gonna be flapping up there and you're gonna have to grab the slider and pull it down using the slider as a mechanical device to grab the toggle. So it doesn't really help you and makes things more complicated. I have also unfortunately seen people doing this when they were slider up. The justification that I heard from these people was that they could then clear a line over while slider up by pushing the toggle through the slider grommet. Honestly, that's just fucking dumb, guys. Let's not do that. The problem is that a modern toggle won't fit through there very easily, especially in an emergency. The bigger problem is, if your slider is sniveling, it's part way down, you reach up and you knock this off, your toggle is gonna ride up there, it's gonna entangle the slider, your slider's still gonna stay up there with the toggle through it, and you're gonna have a very short and very bad rest of your day and probably rest of your life. So anytime that you go through the slider grommets, please, Make sure that you're also through the keeper rings. This one, although I have seen people doing it out there in the real world, really just an epic fail in my opinion.